Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here with Weather in 5, 5 days in 5 minutes. And tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show, we're going to talk about gloom and doom in the Northeast uh, into Saturday. Flood watches in the Ohio Valley that extend southward down into the middle Mississippi Valley. And we still got winter storms going on in the West. All that tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show at 7.35 p.m. Eastern Time. Weather in 5 is brought to you by our Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, and Southwest Suffolk County on Long Island. They're getting ready for spring. They've got mulch, topsoil, sand, everything you need to make your, the front of your house look terrific, just beautifully landscaped. 631-756-1125 is the phone number for the best prices in town. Website is omnitruevalue.com. It's, uh, on, I would say, on the quiet side as we look at the weather through most of the country. Uh, we don't have any major storms going on. Just taking a quick look here at the some of the watches and warnings that are up. We have uh, flash flo- uh, We have flood watches up from north e- uh, eastern Oklahoma, northeastward uh, into the lower Ohio Valley, as far east as northern West Virginia couple of winter weather advisories in northern Maine. Uh, it's mostly quiet from the standpoint of super adverse weather uh, up and down the eastern seaboard and across the Gulf states, although we have some weather issues going on in parts of the northeast today. In the west, winter storm mornings up in western Oregon and uh, particularly in the coastal ranges. We've got uh, watches up uh, in uh, the uh, Coastal ranges of California as well, along with advisories. They continue to see Pacific moisture come in, and the upper air is cold enough to support snow, certainly in the higher elevations. Meanwhile, here in the east today, particularly in the northeast, as a cold front is approaching, were this a dry cold front, we'd be seeing temperatures in the 70s everywhere, but instead, it's gloom and doom and temperatures in the 60s and the air has that really wet feel to it. You see the moisture that's gathering out to the west uh, in the Mississippi Valley and back through Texas. That's going to be setting up the next storm system. And uh, if you look carefully in the upper left, you will see a swirl that's coming into the northwest. Another one of these lows, moisture coming in. And therefore, they got to deal with more snow and also some heavy rain in some cases. Now, here's the radar at uh, midday. Uh, This batch of showers moving through upstate New York down into the Hudson Valley in New Jersey and over Long Island continues to move to the east. The back edge is making progress in Pennsylvania. So these showers should start to move out later this afternoon. There's a few other showers back in Ohio And I think most of those are going to wind up falling apart. So uh, once we get through this main batch, yeah, there might be a leftover shower or two tonight into tomorrow morning. But for the most part, the bulk of it will be done Uh, tomorrow morning in southern Pennsylvania and southern New Jersey. As that front passes and goes southward, you might see some showers to start your day there. But there, too, those showers will come to an end. And you see the precip that is coming in. Uh, to the western part of the United States. Not much yet going on uh, in the middle. As far as uh, liquid precip amounts over the next seven days in the northeast, it's about a half to three quarters of an inch. Uh, A bit more, though, as you go into upstate New York and into uh, central and northern interior uh, New England. Uh, In fact, uh, in northern New England, it's, this is going to be, and in northern New York, this is going to be snow Friday night into Saturday morning. Out in the west, we've got several to many inches uh, from central and northern California, particularly in the coastal ranges where the precipitation is forecast to be heavy. And this is the probability. I know there's a lot of folks that want to get in some skiing before the season just shuts down completely. And there is a high probability for at least a few inches in northern New York, uh, in the Adirondacks, and then Vermont, New Hampshire, central and northern Vermont, central and northern New Hampshire, and much of interior Maine sees a high probability for at least two. And if you want a little bit more, you're going to have to go to central and northern Maine where there's a high probability of at least four. And that is mostly going to come on uh, later Friday night and on Saturday. So uh, we'll run through this new run of the GFS. Uh, We've got a cold front again. The showers that are here now in eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England will start to end from west to east. Maybe another shower uh, overnight into tomorrow morning. 
The front will stall out somewhere across Virginia, back through West Virginia and Kentucky. You see the low there in Arkansas. That runs up to the northeast, produce, produces a lot of rain in the Ohio Valley, probably some severe weather as well uh, into uh, the uh, areas in the Tennessee Valley south to the Gulf Coast. Uh, that low strengthens as it heads towards Lake Huron. Rain comes in late Friday night, early Saturday morning on the northern edge of that north of Route 84. It might briefly start as some snow or sleet. Uh, the rain should come to an end later Saturday afternoon. Temperatures are probably going to be in one of these wild ranges, depending on where the warm front is. If you're north of the warm front, say central New Jersey, northward into southern New England, it'll be in the 40s all day. If you're south of that front, you'll probably uh, get at least into the 50s. And then Sunday will be a windy a colder day, well, not really colder because it's going to depend on where you are. It'll be in the 50s. We'll have some sunshine. It'll be the better of the two weekend days. There's a weak disturbance coming through early Monday morning, and that could produce a few showers as that goes by. I think most of that's going to be out by midday, and weather will improve in the afternoon. And then it should be dry and, well, somewhat on the chilly side for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Some of the models have been pointing to maybe something uh, off the coast Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. The GFS says no, so we'll see what the European has to say a little bit later on. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 is the phone number. Website omnitruevalue.com. We'll see you tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show at 7.35 p.m. Eastern.